got it? I don't know. A bit nervous. Lost my voice last night in the Zwift Draft House. Better go find it before tonight. <laughs> Welcome to the second ever instalment of Out of This World. I like, I like the title, by the way, Out of This World. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. We thought of that um, late one night. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, in this episode, we're going to be looking back on the elite men's and women's individual time trials. And we are here right now at Sigma Sports' very own Wahoo Hill Climb. We are. And I'm about to embark on a head-to-head -head with none other than Russ Downing. And I'm hopefully going to get revenge for when he kind of, well, blew my legs off. At Butter Tubs a few months back. But first, we took some time to catch up with Colombian hotshot Danny Martinez. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Daniel Felipe Martinez from Colombia. The Tantrial is good for Roglic. Like this the style the rider, Rohan Dennis also. For the big men, I think it's so hard because it's the up and down all day. In the hard climb, shorts, but hard. <laughs> With the rhyme, it's, it's different race, you know? For the take the corners, the, you need break a lot. It's dangerous also, but it's nice, it's for everybody, the, the same weather, you know. Oh, it's the passion. Always the, put the jersey, the, the Colombia. It's, it's, it's one big passion. That was definitely an interesting way to warm up, wasn't it? Yeah, but I'm just worried about your height. Have you shrunk since the last link? I think I'm in a little bit of a ditch. <laughs> We're actually standing on a hill, aren't we? Yeah. At the start of the hill climb. But I tell you what, this is an absolutely cracking link. Just watch as I seamlessly segue to the next segment. Because I set Russ Dowling a culinary challenge of a multicultural nature. Holy shit! Oh! Oh! I bet that hurt. Don't want to, uh, don't want to go swimming in that. Matt Stevens. God, then I better answer this, I think. Hey, Matt. Something, mate. I'll get you some lunch. I'm a bit busy, but yeah, I'll do that for you. Go on then. What's that then? Let me let me get this straight. You want a three-course lunch from each step of the podium. All right, that's uh, a bit of a better go out and get some uh, get some shopping done, then, eh? Right, so we've got a Danish winner, second and third American. I better go and make a meal out of this quick. Bloody hell, this is proper Yorkshire weather. Broly, yeah, stop it, get it up. I don't know where I'm going to find all this food from for Matt, but I better get it done quick. Ah, scram. That's been food, doesn't it? Be right, surely. American, Danish. Maybe I can get it all out of here. Are you American or Danish? Maybe not. I might be struggling here. Italian. No, Italians didn't, didn't meddle. Can't see any American or Danish. Danish bacon rolls. I think I've got it. Oh, no, it's not in there. Is this your place? Yeah, yeah, it uh, is, yes. Do American or Danish food? Yeah. Beer? Uh, well, for choice here, Matt. Danish pastry, or shall we see if they've got Danish bacon roll? Do you do a bacon roll? Of course, yeah. Is it Danish? Of course. He's not going to go hungry. Lovely you know, umbrella this is, there. This is Blythe's from yesterday. Hey, mate, you oh, all right? Him, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I've heard you guys are American, yeah? Yes, sir. Right. You maybe can help me out here. I've got a task, I've got to buy Matt Stevens American lunch. So, what, what do I buy him? Well, normally, normally he'd eat a giant pizza for lunch, the whole thing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, at least the whole pizza. For that's, that's not typical American though, is it? Well, you know. it's hot dogs on the side and maybe Hot dogs. Hamburger. I, I, I reckon we'll go Apple up. Apple pie for dessert. Yeah, yeah. Hot, hot dogs and hamburger then maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, got his bacon roll. I got a cheeky coffee as well because it's hard work looking after Matt. Where am I going to find a hot dog in Arrogate? Excuse me, do you sell hot dogs? So you're saying we, we, we don't think we'll get a hot dog in Harrogate? Matt's gonna go hungry, isn't he? No hot dogs. Hot dog, jumping frog, Albuquerque. Do you do apple pie or hot dogs? No, 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 no not American. I've spotted an American flag. Oh. Have you got any apple pie? No. Okay, cheers. Oh well. Oh, what have you got to do? Are you on a mission? I'm on a mission. I'm buying Matt Stevens lunch, but it's all uh, related to the medal ceremony. Something, hot dog. Some, exactly. Hot dog. I'm trying to find a hot dog. Have you seen one in town? Uh, if I were you, right, I would walk down this street here. Is this cheating or am I okay with this? I hope his uh, bacon roll doesn't go uh, cold. You yeah, might be a disaster. Yeah. Nobody likes a cold bacon roll. It's Blythe, is this apparently? <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you later. Bloody LGB. Why didn't you get on the podium? I don't know about Matt, but I could just murder some fish and chips. This looks American. Howdy, partner. They got it all, man. They have actually got everything. Howdy, partner. You got any hot dogs? Hot dogs? No, sorry. No, sorry. Ah, oh, that's not very good. Man versus a cow's buttock. Do you think it's like a big daddy combo? Have a look. Texas Tom, Hog Rider, Rodeo Rib Burger, John Wayne. What's a, what's a John Wayne? Here's your John Wayne burger, sir. Oh, cheers, man. Enjoy. Boom, that's awesome. Have a good day. I don't think we can get any more American than a John Wayne, man. I'm bloody struggling here to find an apple pie in Arrogate. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, Matt. Hold on. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to get an apple pie. Why not let these chips? I only set Russ that challenge. I could hear him speaking in an American accent, you know. That John Wayne burger looked pretty tasty. It did, but where was the apple pie? I wanted to go the whole hog. A little bit disappointed, but it doesn't matter. We'll move on because it's time for the hill climb challenge. Well, basically, it's a classic hill climb scenario kind of set up where we're going to set off in TT formation at 30 second intervals. And it's basically the fastest to the top. It's a race of truth. Let me run around Arrogate getting his lunch for nothing, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him some pain. Three, two, one, go! Hey, mate! Hey. How's that burger? <coughs> Russ, you know that hill climbs are bound to free zones, mate. Gotta get you back for the finish of the Nationals 1999 when you rolled me for third. Oh, down the line. We didn't know where the line was. Couldn't see, could we? Oh, no. See you at the top, Russ. It's like the old days, really, mate, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought I, I, thought I knew you had me then. I, then I sucker punched him in revenge for, well, for Solihull 1999. And then you just. Yeah, you just... yeah I, had a, I had a bit of fire in me, you know, yeah. making me chase around Harrogate and getting yeah. lunch yesterday. I thought I'm having that. And yeah, it's fair enough. Hopefully, the, uh, the Danish bacon and the uh, John Wayne slowed you down. I think it did. Just still, still, still a little there. bit heavy, a little bit heavy, mate. Yeah. Oh, mate. I went light in the gut. Yeah. Just went for it. Yeah. These Sigma Sports rides are really fun, aren't they? They are a, a good laugh, actually. I love them, especially in this beautiful countryside. Look, there's even, we could even go blackberry picking. 
And speaking of which, Joss Loudon joined us on our Le Col ride the other day, fresh off the podium in the mixed time trial relay. That was a corking ride in very difficult conditions. Hi, I'm Joss Loudon. I ride for Drops and I'm here in Yorkshire riding for Team GB this week. fun yeah I can't it's like hard to put into words actually what it was like uh, on the day and being up there on the stage uh, the way that the sort of the, the order had sort of went and that we were sitting up there in the hot seat for so long um, just I think it's what made the, the event like so good oh, yeah so I think that's the thing that kind of really cut it for us actually as a team so we've got so the boys um, the way that they sort of think about uh, how to ride these sort of things, so like a team time trial and then looking at the course specifics, like where are we going to really make up our time and when we look back over our rides we can see that the, the way that both the men and the women's teams that we made a lot of time in the technical sections and certainly like in, in the corners um, and uh, yeah on the sort of the steep bits of the course and so it was the, the tactics really that I think that, that cut it for us and um, the, yeah the, like I say the guys and sort of Dan and what he brings to the team in terms of his sort of like expertise, uh, I think that's what that's what really made it. Um, I think it was good fun actually. I know there was some scepticism about whether it was a good event to do, whether they should be mixing it, whether they should be keeping the men's and the women's separate, but in terms of entertainment, I mean we were definitely entertained <laughs> and being up on the stage watching it all unfold was you know really exciting and the feedback I've had from other people watching was that because you've got you know, it's not just a just like a straight out time. You've got that the combination of the two times, and then and are the women going to be able to, you know, hold on to it or whatever? I think it it made it, uh, yeah, definitely a good entertainment value. So I'm hoping that they they do it again next year in the same format. I think the, the crowds. It's like I can't really really explain to you what it's like having that many people uh, out there really supporting you. It's like the, like the finishing straight when I, well, I was swinging but like um, it makes such a big difference having so many people to you on and being in the town the last like week or so everybody has been so nice and so accommodating and helpful and so I think Yorkshire they they just know how to really support cycling and I hope that you know it sort of grows and spreads like that across the rest of the UK because it's something that's really quite special here. So, I mean, this season there's still a few things left to do. I'm going to hit the track actually. I'm going to get on, yeah, get on and have a go at some IP, and then I've got kind of TT, and I'll do a hill climb to sort of round off the season. And then, yeah, looking to next year, I'm going to focus a bit more on time trialing. This year uh, was kind of the mixture between road racing and time trialing, but uh, I think that I sort of came into a bit more form in TTing later in the season, and I want to kind of like see that through and see how far it can take me next year. So. Good evening, we are here at the Zwift Draft House for the Yorkshire Legends race powered by OTE. Let's go in and take a look. So the riders tonight are going to be racing on the brand new Wahoo kicker bike. We spoke to Rowley from Wahoo earlier to learn more about them. Hey guys, I'm Rowley from Wahoo, uh, here to show you the new kicker bike indoor smart trainers. So this is a brand new product from us. Um, it borrows a lot of the technology that we worked on with the kicker trainers before um, and integrates the kicker climb as well. So alongside you being able to ride the bike as you normally would indoors, um, it can simulate downhills and uphills as well. So up to plus 20% and uh, down to minus 15%. It's got the same silent flywheel technology from the kickers but we've added in a motor as well. So when you're coasting down a hill in Zwift, um, it'll actually you know, continue to roll for you. Similar to the kickers, it's got 2,200 watts of power, so even the strongest guys are going to be well catered for. As well, up at the front of the bike, uh, we've worked really, really hard on producing a set of shifters which you can customise completely to mimic the outdoor bike that you ride normally. So whether you run SRAM, Shimano uh, or Campag, electronic or mechanical gears, you can configure the bike to replicate the bike that you use uh, outdoors. Down at the bottom as well, you'll notice there's lots of different holes for different crank lengths. So if you want to experiment with running slightly different crank lengths to what you might normally ride, you can do that. And you can also set the gearing up to, to either mimic your, your outdoor bike, or if you want to try some different gearing and see how it feels when you're riding indoors, you can try that as well. So that's about it. I'll hand you back to Lucy at the Yorkshire Legends race.
Thanks for that, Rowley. Now let's have a chat to the people here and see what's going on. Hey, Connor, how's your evening going? Yeah, not too bad. It's uh, pretty packed in here, so uh, great atmosphere and yeah, real buzz around the place. And uh, are you racing tonight in the races? Yeah, I'll give it a bit of a bash. Uh, been uh, pulled in to give it a go and have a bit of a race, so we'll see how it goes. How's this evening going? What do you think of the atmosphere inside? Uh, yeah, well, it's it's buzzing. I've I've never come to a, a Zwift race, so it's uh, I'm surprised. It's really good. And then, um, what do you think of the course and uh, the finishing circuit? Obviously, uh, it's going to play a massive part in um, the weekend's racing, especially. You you never know. I think it's going to be a really good racing course because it's not got a definitive moment. It's uh, it's going to be a racers course, which always makes for the best worlds. It's busy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've got some fun, some fun races with the with the uh, with the guests and the crowd. So we've got the ladies' race on now. So, but Swift has been helping you with your recovery a little bit, right? Yeah. So I did after uh, four weeks. I did a bit of a, a ride around the Yorkshire course, and I went a little bit too hard, and my ribs hurt. So um, the physio was like, "Oh, yeah. Well, how did that go? Like, oh, it hurts you, man. Well, don't do it again." But yeah, I've been outdoors a bit, but I do a lot of lifting anyway. Uh, in the winter just to keep myself fit so yeah I've been on it for about two years now I think yeah it's cool join us in the next episode where we'll be looking back at our youth and checking out the action from the junior races as well as doing some colouring in